Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. You were obscene. If there's a film called Werewolf Woman, we are obviously going to review it. <laughs> But it may not be the film you were expecting. Certainly wasn't the film I was expecting. A not always comfortable mashup of monster horror, psychological horror, and rape revenge horror. What did you say? The opening is at least what you would expect from a 1970s Italian exploitation film. This dance under the full moon brings on a terrifying transformation. Why she did the dance on the night that everyone was out with their flaming torches, I don't know. But now she kills in typical werewolf fashion. With an axe. She is caught. But then... <laughs> this is Daniela, ancestor of the unlucky werewolf woman. But above all, this extraordinary resemblance of your daughter Daniela with her ancestor. Daniela is already mentally fragile because she was raped when she was 13. She seems to be repelled by the opposite sex. I think we can call that understandable. No doubt it's a sexual phobia caused by that unfortunate experience she had. Unfortunate? Daniela's doctor is rubbish. Breast, a leg, same thing to a doctor. Well, I'm not coming to you if I hurt my knee. The arrival of Daniela's sister makes matters worse. That's the end of our vacation now. Because her husband bears an uncanny resemblance to the man Daniela's ancestor killed. I want to introduce it in my family. This is my father and my sister Daniela. And this is Fabian, my husband. Talk about your bad luck. And this triggers hallucinations in Daniela of blood. We've been waiting. Observe my wounds. See what they've done. And a dirty lizard. No! No! Then, after watching her sister and husband have sex, Daniela seduces the husband. Oh, I could make you feel things it ain't and never could. And kills him. Disposing of the corpse very impressively. This lands her in an institution where she kills one of the other patients and escapes. If you don't bite again, I'll untie you. Also attacking the doctor whose car she hides in. On the run, she happens on another couple having sex. And this time kills the woman. The police now get involved. Seems funny that this should bring to mind a story my old grandmother used to tell. Deeply disturbed woman, my grandmother. Then she'd say, if anyone is born on Christmas Eve, he will turn into a werewolf. Imagine now. Meanwhile, Daniela has killed someone else, although this time she does have good reason. Get your hands off me, you pig! The problem with this film is that Daniela kills for two reasons. Her traumatic childhood and dreams of an ancestor she resembles who was a werewolf. <laughs> And the film fails to reconcile these two motivations. When the spirit of a dead person penetrates somebody that's um, obsessed, the latter follows the destiny of that reincarnated spirit. Falling back on tedious psychobabble. It seems to be a state of nocturnal schizophagia. She's a hypomaniac, beset by delirium and phobic complexes. While the rubbish doctor keeps on insisting it's all real. The phenomenon has already been analysed. It was proven, really. That said, towards the end, we move in the right direction. 
Daniela has found happiness with a good man and love has cured her. And I love him and he's made me really happy. So you mustn't be worried. I'm so much in love. Slim comfort to the families of her victims, I would guess, but we'll gloss over that as their happiness is not all it seems. Okay. Daniela, come here. I'm okay. How'd you like that foul? That's a game, huh? <laughs> Her new boyfriend is a stuntman, and the danger he puts himself through brings joy and laughter into their lives. But Daniela's happiness is short lived, as this turns into a home invasion horror. What I've been telling you, Grace, she's some piece, huh? She is raped, her boyfriend killed. <laughs> it should come as no surprise that this is a film well liked by Quentin Tarantino because now this is Kill Bill, Daniela can use her lycanthropic tendencies, albeit imagined, to take revenge on the men who raped her and killed her boyfriend. hunting them down like a wolf. A wolf who kills people with a spanner. And can operate heavy machinery. Earlier in the film, she was going for the throat like a wolf. I'm uncertain why that would change now. Uncertain. But more importantly, the revenge section lasts two and a half minutes. This should have been the film. Hey, what is this? Do you think I'm an idiot? Forget all the silly psychological stuff. A woman dealing with trauma by identifying with a werewolf ancestor revenges herself on the men who attacked her. What on earth are you saying? In a recent review, we talked about exploitation films that piss away a good idea because of their focus on sex and violence. This is one of those films. What are you saying? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to be more involved with Dark Corners and see an uncut version of Werewolf Woman, then join us on Patreon at Acolyte level. Quentin Tarantino stuck Werewolf Woman at the end of an all-night film session to wake the audience up. What exploitation film would you use for that purpose? Let us know in the comments below. Was that the door? Yes.